set up the defensive stance on fiend as well ready to take a little bit more damage than normal on uh, with some of the lighter damage that does come out uh per hit from uh guns and bow i think that Three, that is two, probably the right one, way to go brawl. all right getting into it on shipwreck falls I think this is a good map for both players. Fiend, of course, with those explosive sword edge guards, having such a small edge uh, definitely makes that even easier for him to land. And we obviously we saw Evolx take last game of the last set on this stage. So probably a good pick for both of them. Ooh, nice call out by Evolx. Throwing out the M light before Fiend even landed there and Fiend just fell right into it. Fiend though already starting up with these combos. Downlight there into gravity cancel neutral stick to knock him off stage and then hits him oh with God. the edge guard and the assault on Fiend is feeling it already right now. I mean, this is kind of what we expect from Fiend getting right in your face, forcing the pressure, putting you on the back foot, and then forcing you off stage and just chasing you off until you're dead. This is what Fiend does, and this is what we're seeing right now. This is not any way out of the ordinary. This is just what we expect at this point, and the fact that it's working out so well for him. I have a bad feeling that if Evol Evolx finds the uh, the right footing for him to turn around, uh, Fiend is going to be put in a very bad way because that high octane play can be very hard to come back to uh, when the pressure in like instantly reverses. Yeah, and Evolx, we saw him land a few down signatures. Oh no, he's actually oh. dead. I think he miscalculated where he was going with his recoveries. And Fiend, did Fiend just double taunt him? He did. He did. That is absolutely brutal. Fiend is just... <laughs> he is he is just that. He is a fiend. He, he's a fiend. He's the epitome of confidence right now. He's playing confidently. After every single stock that he takes, he's showing off his confidence with these taunts. And right now, like, honestly, he's kind of just running over uh, Evolx. And sometimes that's just what happens, especially when you get right into your opponent's face and you just cut off all their avenues of escape fiend that's kind of what he does he's uh getting right into his face evil evolks trying to back off and get that spacing that he needs uh from those uh for that bow play that is uh just he's just able to find that side sig and he taunts right back no hesitation uh, i respect it you definitely that that's a good sign you for evokes a, a, a sign that the taunts aren't doing any any sort of work to tilt him or decrease his mental by showing that he can kind of laugh at it too and throw out his own taunts that's a good sign as far as the mental for evokes goes but man that i mean that match was brutal honestly like it was harsh he controlled that the entire time it was really harsh i mean the fact that both of them where uh, real, or Fiend was just like all over Evolks the entire time. Just right up in his face, throwing those weapons, getting combos off, forcing them off stage. And then keeping that pressure almost like 100% uptime is just huge on his part because it shows that he is so unwavering in his play style. That he is not, he doesn't care Three, how two, people one, back off. Bro. He is just going to get right in their face and throw them for a loop 10 times over. Evolx starting off with some good combos. Fiend is actually already in the orange. That is the result of having that low defense auditory. But this unarmed combo is actually insane. Fiend is not scared at all. He's just landing the downers and the siders. He's tied up the damage entirely on unarmed after that great opening stream from Evolx. Side light into the insta dodge side air and the down air. Not quite going to kill. Another down air lands. One more or two more hits and this should do it for Fiend honestly. Oh, the recovery into the Nair. So fast from Fiend. Uh, an under 40 second kill into the classic taunt that he's been doing so far in this set. Maybe there's a little bit of bad blood between these two, honestly. I'm feeling like I, Fiend has not been taunting <laughs> anyone else this entire tournament. No. And he is making extra care to make sure that he's doing as many salt taunts as possible. I was just thinking about that. What a fantastic stream from Evolx, though. That just... Pure insane. Oh! Power. Fiend, what are you doing? The double down air into gravity cancel sidelight. What in the world, Fiend? The, the, the that furious was crazy. combos coming out off stage for that off stage pressure, and that is going to be.
just huge, huge stuff coming out from Fiend. And now pushing Evokes into his last stock. This is his tournament stock right now. This is still a best of three. The bet, the, the last best of three of the tournament as Fiend now approaches. Get it's a huge uh, combo, but can't find the finisher on it with the down air. Another down air. Last one doesn't confirm. Evokes still in the tournament. Oh my gosh, the and weapon. And that's it, I think. A a no. oh, oh my oh. god, Fiend! The break dance is so unnecessary, but he does it anyway. This is exactly what we wanted out of Fiend. This is exactly what we're seeing.